Hey everybody, it's Tim, and I'm here to talk to you today about BNGO or bio-nanogenomic stock. We do have some recent articles to go over, and I also want to show you something on the chart that so far has been playing out, and you're going to want to keep an eye on it. Now, if you like these BNGO videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It tells me that you like these types of videos. And also, don't forget to check out the links below for some free stocks, free crypto, check out BlockFi's credit card. It's honestly the only credit card I use. And let's get into this BNGO video. Now, first off, we have this recent article regarding BioNano Lab. Labs, and they're essentially going to be collaborating with Optra Health, and they're going to use Health Facts proprietary AI platform to enhance genetic counseling services, improve care for patients, receiving services through BioNano Labs. And with this recent development, BioNano Labs patients can seek additional information with genetic disorders, testing services, and they're sent a link to the Health Facts virtual assistant, which basically gives patients more information on the testing process, testing options, collects personal and family history, and fine tunes the patient's experience based on pre-existing conditions, hereditary issues, things of that nature. And this process basically will allow BioNano Labs to automate parts of their upfront education workflows and reduce the workload for their team, which basically allows BioNano Labs to be more efficient. And as said by the CEO, Eric Holmlin, we have chosen to incorporate the Health Facts platform into the BioNano Labs workflow with the intent to increase operational efficiencies while also improving the overall experience for our clients. With the implementation of these new tools, BioNano Labs will be able to scale as it expands services in the future. And now the CEO of Optra Health commented, Optra Health aims to make health facts widely available to all families in need of more information about genetic testing for autism spectrum and other genetic disorders. It's unimaginable how much anxiety parents undergo while awaiting results for their child's genetic test. The Health Facts conversational platform provides BioNano Labs with digital tools to better service their patient community while providing live support at scale as required. So in my eyes, this is definitely a step forward for BioNano Labs. And it's another reason for patients to choose BioNano Labs. They have a more personalized system. And with this Optra Health collaboration, it'll definitely make each patient feel more as an individual and less of a group. And when they're targeting specific genetic disorders and also, you know, weighing in what your family's history is, I think this is a big deal. And this isn't the only news. We actually have something that literally just dropped today. This is a couple days old, but this one just came out today. And it reads, BioNanogenomics announces publication of a study from Sorbonne University showing that WGS identified only 63% of structural variations that OGM detected in liver cancers. But this study basically combined OGM and whole genome sequencing, which is WGS. And this workflow basically allowed researchers to compare OGM and WGS. And they reported that in this study of all SVs or structural variants detected using OGM, only 63% were detected by WGS. This to me shows that OGM is a much better system. It revealed a medium of 1.4 times more structural variants than WGS from classical tandem duplications to complex tumor initiating cells. And as said again by the CEO, Eric Holmlin, cancer is often thought of as a disease of structural variation. And this study illustrates how OGM has the potential to help unravel the complex mechanisms involved in oncogenesis. I might have just butchered that, my apologies. But it shows that OGM can be more sensitive for detecting large structural variants than WGS. And it provides a nice example of how complementary the two methods are. But BNGO continues to release publications, continues to prove that their OGM optical genome mapping device is more efficient and more effective than other traditional methods. But next up guys, let's look at the chart and I've got a couple things to show you there and then we're gonna wrap this up. And one thing we are still respecting is this ascending support. And this started at the May 11 low. We have in fact continued to hold this. We haven't ever come back to this bottom. We haven't even come back to this bottom. And it seems like we're creating higher lows. Now this pattern is starting to tighten. And I do personally think that once we can break $2, we can have a nice little run here. But it is very possible that we just kind of continue to chop around in this channel. It does seem like it's starting to widen out. I do think we are going to test this trend line one more time. I don't think we got close enough to it. I think come towards the middle of October, we will test this 175 area before finally bouncing. But you'll see that this recent run we went on, everything was just about taken back. So honestly, in my opinion, it could just about go either way. I definitely want to see this support line respected. And it's interesting that lately, you know, the SPY has been creating new lows, not today, but a couple days ago. And while the overall market is making new recent lows, you know, Apple, Facebook, the SPY, QQQ, NVIDIA, while those are all creating new recent lows, you know, BNGO is still nowhere near that May 11 low. It has in fact been months and it's honestly still just about doubled up from there. Does that mean we won't come back down and test it? No, but to me, I find it just really interesting that the overall market has been selling off lately and these small caps haven't been selling off as dramatically. 
I think that's very interesting and a thing that's important to watch. It does seem like some money is slowly rotating into these small caps just to avoid the larger cap dropping lately. And in my opinion, you know, these stocks right now are great times to just DCA. Don't go all in. Don't go crazy. You definitely want to be selective and pick just a select few small caps that you want to go into. Personally, I would rather just go with a couple solid small caps than to try to just go crazy and have as many as possible. But BNGO is definitely one that I've been continuing to watch. I also still like Synceonics. Also still obviously love CleanSpark, Indie, Chargepoint. And you know, there really isn't many other small caps I'm adding to. There are some that I still hold positions in. There is some that I've moved on from. But just be aware that small caps are still definitely risky although they are still double up from their lows, doesn't mean they can't come back and retrace before we get on our next bull run. In the end, I do believe in BNGO, and I do believe this is a $10 stock. It's a matter of time in my opinion, and they just continue to impress, continue to prove that their OGM is a much better product than anything out there. But that's it for you guys today. Don't wanna to start rambling on too much. Thanks as always for watching. How do you feel about BNGO? How do you feel lately about the overall market? Are you buying into small caps lately, mid caps, larger caps? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks as always guys and take it easy.